the color here. Hi, beautiful souls. It is I, Marianne Lee with Fit Food and Art. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Make sure to subscribe, hit the subscribe button with the bell icon so you'll get notifications when I upload next. Make sure to give this video, please, please, I need more engagement from you guys, a thumbs up because it really helps my channel grow, shows your support, shows that you guys are getting positive feedback back with this channel. Today I have a special fun video for you. It's healthy food swaps for 2020. Easy things that are accessible to you that you could go find and substitute for a healthy food swap. We're all looking for a better version of us in 2020, so here we go. First thing guys, I know pasta, everyone loves pasta but unfortunately it's very high in carbohydrates and thus sugar. So instead of pasta, I prepare in my crock pot behind me, a spaghetti squash. This is ready to go already. That's why they call it spaghetti squash. You de-seed it and it comes out just like noodles. Choose your kind of sauce on here. I choose a vegan white sauce or a marinara and then your choice of lean protein. That's a nice, pasta dish for dinner or breakfast or whatever, lunch. Next thing guys, I preach about this all the time on my Instagram. If you guys wanna stay up on me daily, please go follow me on the gram at Fit Food and Art. I found this Nature's Hollow, stev uh, no, it's not sweetened with stevia, it's sweetened with xylitol with his relations to stevia though. Diabetic friendly, does not spike your insulin, natural sweetener, you guys. They make also a Nature's Hollow maple syrup, but this jelly, zero grams of sugar. Zero grams of sugar. With some PB2, some dry peanut butter, which is, I gotta get that out, but let's get it. Put this on a slice of whole grain bread. You got a whopping, if you put two tablespoons, four grams of protein, and this, and then your protein-free bread, you got about eight grams of protein, sugar-free, and like 10 grams of carbs, a little quick peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I thought you couldn't eat peanut butter. It's not for me, it's for people that can. I know, I'm allergic. But I'm just telling them healthy food swaps. Oh. All right, with that said, oatmeal guys, I know a lot of people get these already pre-seasoned. Like, these are my daughters. The only reason why I have this unhealthy stuff is because my daughter. She's a teenager, <laughs> I'm lenient with her. She doesn't have the self-discipline yet. She's very thin naturally, so she doesn't know about how diet is. But as long as she eats her fruits and vegetables, I let her have her little guilty pleasures. These are my pumpkins, little guilty pleasures. But let me tell you why these are unhealthy, guys, because depending on your energy expending, what you're doing throughout the day, how physical you are, these have eight grams of sugar in them. I mean, think of grams as like, I always think of grams like, I hate to say this, but in substitutes of like drugs, would you like take eight grams of marijuana? No, you'd be high as a freaking kite. So you shouldn't be consuming sugar, eight grams. You'd be high as a freaking kite. <laughs> and most of all, if you spike your insulin, it's not going to burn fat throughout the day. Once your insulin spikes, that's it. You need to have an insulin level that still stays steady throughout the day, that even gets low, so you can tap into that fat burning stage. Anyway, not healthy. Get you some rolled natural oats here, the real oats that are just ingredients, natural oats. Also, this has whole grain oats, sugar dried apples, natural flavor, and cinnamon and salt. This is just in the ingredients, whole oats. That's it. Okay. Nice and healthy, more natural. The natural, the better, all right? Chips, again, <laughs> guilty pleasure. But for your healthy food swaps, we have sete grain-free chips. Grain-free, they're made out of cavassa flour. Cavassa flour is similar to sweet potato. It's a root, natural, low glycemic, lower in carbohydrates, no dyes, no, no dyes and um, artificial tasting a seasoning of any kind, all naturally. This is their like spicy Dorito version, which is really good. I ate a bag last week. This is their nacho version. I ate a bag of this last week. And also I'm doing a giveaway guys. The first permit person to comment down below, share this video. I will enter you into the giveaway and I'll be giving out some sete chips. So enter the giveaway. Yep, they sent me a whole bag of sete chips. Did you get it babe? Mm -hmm. They sent me a whole case of sete chips that I'll be giving out. All right, kavasa flour, same flour that's made with the sete chips. You can make kavasa gluten-free, sugar, low sugar, I shouldn't say sugar-free, dairy-free chocolate chip cookies. You guys have seen, if you're on my 21-day paleo challenge on Facebook, 
you guys have seen me make my pancakes too. So good guys. I will say this though, add, make sure you add extra coconut oil because this is like a drier flour. It absorbs a lot of the moisture. So add that or some applesauce to make sure that the density of your pa pancake or your cookie that you make stays moist in the middle. All right, another thing guys is soda. I've never been like a soda fan. I'm never like really a carb like a carbonated fan either. But sometimes occasionally I do like to have sodas. I like to use these when I'm really in a caloric deficit, meaning I'm in a decline of calories and I want to stay full because the carbonation helps your tummy stay full. It gives your brain that sensory that I'm full and I don't want to eat anymore. Like you're you're satiated enough to where you feel satisfied not to eat. So these are Zevia sweetened with all natural stevia. Stevia again is a sister sweetener, natural to xylitol, diabetic friendly, won't spike your insulin and healthy, healthy and natural sweetener. They have different flavors here. You see grape, ginger ale. My favorite is ginger root beer, which they were all out of yesterday, but you can find these at King Supers, Natural Gosher's. Most places are really turning health conscious. So the natural like organic whole food aisles is where you'll find a lot of these. And ask, don't be shy, ask, ask around. All right guys, now I have um, on my paleo challenge, I have told you guys I'm going more plant-based. I'm allowing myself one animal product a day. So with that said, I really, really love these healthy swaps for plant-based meat protein substitutes. Why? Because they're soy free, they're vegan and they're delicious. If you guys have not tried Beyond Meat Burgers, super delicious. I don't know what they put in here. I crave them all the time. <laughs> my favorite though is the Italian sausages. Absolute divine. I put these on my gluten-free vegan pizzas. So good. Uh, put some pickles, some ketchup, some mustard, an avocado, and this burger is delicious. <gasps> A well, couple more things, guys, is drinking your water, making sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure to flavor your water naturally by dropping some frozen fruit in there and infusing your fruit, nat you're infusing your water naturally. I love blueberries. I also love mangoes. Cucumbers. I love cucumbers. That's the most one I use. But when I'm not feeling like chopping up fruit and stuff, guys, I do order doTERRA oils, natural essential oils, because they are able to be used for oral consumption. You just put one drop in your water and it's infused. Grapefruit, by the way, is the best natural burning, fat burning essential oil, any of the citruses. This is lime here, just one drop in this bad boy and my bigger one, I put two drops, but I've been carrying around my little one because I don't feel like carrying about my big one right now because it weighs like 50 pounds. My little one? No, her little one. So I'll put one drop in there, guys, this helps detox your liver. Anything with citrus blend helps detox your liver. All right, last, last thing, because I know everyone's caffeineaholics. I'm not, however, but I get the decaffeinated, but you can find the caffeinated version of this chai spice tea, which I've been making my daughter, and she mm -hmm. loves it now too, right? Yeah. Now, I do mine the fast, easy, simple way, just getting the spice chai tea, chai tea already. I make hers with caffeine, so I add a black bag to hers to help motivate her in the morning to do her homework mm -hmm. and do what she needs to do. But guys... This is an ancient Ayurvedic recipe. Ayurveda is a sisterhood to the yogic system, ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom. The spices here have coriander and, um, what is it? Let me see, because I have this one here that I add. When I'm wanting it extra spicy, I add a little bit of this extra spice to it too. If you guys have not chased a Thai, uh, chai, I'm sorry, it's so good. Okay, cinnamon's in it, fennel's in it, organic ginger, organic anise, organic cardamom, organic cloves, and organic black pepper. All these spices are warming spices. So very essential for the winter, especially me. I'm a person that has like cold phalanges and cold feet and cold hands because I don't circuit enough body heat for some reason. I'm not anemic. It's just the way I've always been. So for me, it's very important during this time of the year because it helps honestly keep you warm. Honestly, it's a natural thermogenic, which when we're talking about thermogenics, that's gonna help tap us into our fat burning stage too. So enjoy some tea, get you the caffeinated, if you like caffeinated, and then I just top it off with a little bit of coconut milk, sweeten it, of course, with stevia. So last thing, guys, last thing is your oils that you're cooking with. Coconut oil only, olive oil only, or avocado. Throw out the vegetable, throw out the corn, throw out anything else because all those oils 
are gonna kill your hormones. And when your hormones are killed, you're not gonna burn fat. You're not gonna feel good. It's just, it's just too many negative side effects. So we got here the Kirkland from Costco olive oil. It actually is the best tasting olive oil I've ever tasted. And I've bought an olive oil from natural grocers, from Whole Foods. I don't know where they get theirs. They must really get it from Grace because it tastes divine. Now keep in mind with olive oil, you have to cook it at a medium temperature. Once you cook it at a high, it's no longer good for you. So I really use this one for a salad dressing only. Now to add my to my pans, of huevos so they don't stick is avocado oil because avocado oil is allowed to have a higher cooking temperature and then also my coconut oil which is somewhere right here so that is it guys i hope you enjoy this healthy food swap video happy new year in 2020 remember that you are worthy of manifesting all your desires you're worthy of living your best life ever Give this video a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.